When threatened with a possible takeover, a corporation's board of directors may purchase stock in the company to prevent an outsider from gaining control. But this action creates a conflict of interest. Preventing someone else from taking control of the company also ensures the directors remain in control. So how should courts determine whether directors in this situation acted in the company's best interests or their own? The Delaware Supreme Court considered that question in Chef v. Mathis. In June of 1957, Arnold Mermont, chairman of Motor Products Corporation, approached P.T. Chef, a director and the CEO of Holland Furnace Company, to discuss a potential merger. Chef told Mermont that the company's differences in sales strategies made a merger unworkable. Mermont began purchasing large blocks of Holland stock on the open market. The Holland board investigated Mermont and found that he had a history of taking over and liquidating several companies. After Mermont's demand to join the Holland board was denied, he threatened restructuring or liquidating the company. This caused employee unrest, which led many to resign. In response, the Holland board began buying Holland stock on the open market. In October, Mermont offered to sell his Holland shares to the board for a price exceeding their market value, and the board approved the purchase. Ann Mathis and other Holland minority shareholders filed suit against Holland. Mathis alleged that the directors bought Mermont's stock for the improper purpose of retaining their control of the company. The trial court found that the board's actions breached its fiduciary duty because Mermont wasn't a threat to Holland. The directors appealed to the Delaware Supreme Court. 